Hey everybody and welcome back to another One of Everything Wednesdays. I'm your host, Mr. Bevers. Today we are going to do a store named Cyber City Comics. Located in... Uh, Toronto. On Steeles Avenue West. So there you go. They have a email address, info at cybercitycomics.com. And uh, I'll leave a link below in the description to their website, cybercitycomics.com. And uh, let's check them out. They had quite a few packs in their store, as you can see here. Now, remember, bear in mind, I went before Dominaria was released and before Masters 25 was released to pick up these packs because what I tend to do is I do like a road trip on a weekend and I go out and I go around to as many as I can hit in a day um, in an area that I have to travel to. So that's why you'll, you're seeing packs missing. No Dominaria, no Masters 25. They may have those packs now. I'm not sure, but let's uh, let's go with what they did have. They had Rivals of Ixalan, they had Unstable, they had Iconic Masters, they had Ixalan, they had Hour of Devastation, they had Amonkhet, they had Aether Revolt, they had Kaladesh, they had Shadows Over Innistrad, they had Oath of the Gatewatch, they had Magic Origins, they had Dragons of Tarkir, Fate Reforged, Journey into Nyx, Born of the Gods, Theros, Dragon Maze, and Gatecrash. So we've got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 packs. We're going to do 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to end at Innistrad today. Next week, we will start off with Oath of the Gatewatch and work our way back to Gatecrash. Let's get right into it. First up, Rivals of Ixalan. Let's see if we can open some spicy things for our patrons, right? That's what we want to see. Okay. Reckless Rage, Golden Demise, Aquatic Incursion, and Crafty Cut Purse. You made this? No, no, no. I made this. Unstable. So someone from my patron page asked if I could add in any regular foils that I open from Unstable into the patron giveaway pile. And I will oblige. If we hit any foils of any kind, we will put them into the patron pile. We generally avoid putting the silver bordered cards in because they're not legal in any format and people might not want them. Side quest, Crow Storm, Steam Flogger of the Month is our rare. So there you go. Steam Flogger, man. Nice full art swap, which will go in the patron pile. We got an Oaken Power Suit rare. And then we have an arms depot and a foil, wait, yeah, oh, yeah, foil, a foil zombie token. I was like, dear God, what happened? There you go, a nice little full art zombie. I kind of wish that they had foiled both sides of these, like the full art ones. Or like maybe not foil this side, but foil this side instead. It would have been really cool. Um, I don't know. I think a missed opportunity, to be honest. Iconic Masters is next. Now, Iconic Masters is very, very hit or miss. So, let's see what we find. Repeal. Mana Leak. Not bad. Search for Tomorrow. Not bad. All right. Fog Bank. Lure. Mahamati Dinjin. Or Jin. And Kaiga, the Tide Star. Didn't we open this guy last last week? I think we did. A foil claustrophobia. All right. Well, so far, just the full art land for our patrons, unfortunately. Ixalan is next. Let's see if we can hit something spicy. Come on, Vraska, right? Imperial Lancer. Bishop of the Bloodstained. Maybe we want to see something else. Deadeye Quartermaster, and a Death Gorge Scavenger. Actually, not a bad little hit. Uh, we'll put that in the patron pile. Uh, it's a nice little card. Foil Encampment Keeper. Okay, all right. All right, let's see. What else What else do we find? Hour of Dev is next. So we want the Scorpion God, right? Steward of Solidarity. Unraveling Mummy. Tenacious Hunter. And... A Mirage Mirror. Not a bad hit either. Uh, I'll check the price on that afterwards. I think it was a couple bucks last time I looked. Uh, it might have come down a bit. I don't know. But um, who knows? Maybe Dominaria has made its price go up quite a bit. What with all the artifacts that you could be copying, I guess. Uh, Amonkhet is next. Let's see what we find. Open into Wonder. 
Trial of Ambition, Gale Strike, and a Harsh Mentor. All right, that's not a bad hit either. Okay, Almond Ket, not a bad little one. Okay, let's uh, we'll probably add that to the pile. Aether Revolt, the the set that never printed masterpieces, as far as I understand, because I opened so much friggin' product of this set. And uh, I never hit one. Well, I shouldn't say that. I hit one out of, like, way too many packs. Trophy Mage. Monstrous Onslaught. Tezzeret's Touch. And Karizev. Skyship Raider. With a Plains and a Thopter. See? No, no, ex no, no invention in that fact. What a surprise. Who's shocked? Definitely not me. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not bitter. You're bitter. Cloud Blazer, Iron League Steed, Whirler Maker, and a Blooming Marsh. All right, that's a nice little hit. That'll go in the patron pile. Ooh, a Foil Experimental Aviator. Also not a masterpiece. Shadows over Innistrad. All right. Come on, Cyber City, don't let me down. Give me something sweet to end off this week. Invasive Surgery. Call of the Bloodline, or Call the Bloodline, I should say. Well, we already know what we've got there. <laughs> An Erdwall Illuminator, and the rare is a Death Cap Cultivator. Not anything to write home about. And an Abherent Researcher, which I don't think is worth anything, because it's definitely not as good as the original. But, there you have it. We did hit quite a few things. We hit a Blooming Marsh, a Harsh Mentor, most likely a Mirage Mirror, and a Death Gorge, uh, Death Gorge Scavenger. We obviously get the Swamp. Um, I don't think Kaiga is going to make the patron pile. Maybe. If someone out there in the patron group wants the Kaiga or thinks the Kaiga should make it in, let me know in the comments below. I will make sure that it gets added to the following month uh, for giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. And uh, as always, may your pulls ever be better.